are going to discuss about all types of blocks and when to use it with your flow. So let's start. Okay, so now to start, proceed to automation and you can either add a new flow or just edit an existing flow. So it's something like this. And the first thing that we're going to show is conversation. Right, so this conversation right here is the most basic one and we already used this a lot in the previous video. So just a quick review. So first, of course, edit the title and you can add the message here. So you can either add a long one or a short one or next, just input and expected reply. So write something like this. And I will not discuss this any further because we already know how this works. So I will just click on save changes and proceed to the other blocks. Okay. Right. Now the next one is the JSON API. So this one is an advanced setting that allows you to generate dynamic contents depending on the command you input. So here you will see both. So here you can choose the type of input like post, for example, is used to get information from your customer. Delete is to remove the data. And if you're going to use this for order form, you can select add to cart or clear cart, create order. All right, so whatever the need is. And next is the header. So this one is already predetermined by the system. And data and body. So here you can enter key values for a more specified command and conditions, which you can set to determine a branch. So I will discuss more about conditions later, but first I will edit this, okay? Right? Now here you will see that I renamed the block as a validate block. So I will use this to check if the user like my page. And I entered this link, which you can find in the website's document section. So you can just modify it depending on your page. And then here in the conditional jump, I just input this and you can copy this code, then equals to one, meaning one like. All right, next, save changes. So the next thing I'm going to do is add uh, conversation blocks in this to test this. So, first I will ask them to like my page. Right, and just connect it. And then for the next messages that they will receive, I will add more conversation. Right, so something like this. So the first one is for those who like my page and for the second uh, block is for those who didn't like my page. So they have to try again and now let's test it. Right, I already received my notification. So here's the instruction, so let's see. Right, so here what I will do is, for example, I will lie and say that I already like the page. Well, in fact, I haven't yet just to get the price. So for example, I wouldn't like the page, but let's see if I will get the price. So let's say, for example, I will repress uh, reply and say, okay, I already like your page. Where is my price? Right, so let's see. Okay, so now you will see that the system recognized that you haven't liked their page yet. So you have to like it first in order to receive your gift. All right, so that's how it works. Now let's go to other blocks. And the next thing that we're going to do now is test the attribute block. So there are a lot of ways to set the attributes, but you can also use this block to test it. So first we have to edit the name as usual. And here just input the attribute, just like how we're doing it and the value as well. And now I'll just edit this again. Okay, so now here in the attribute, I had included a name attribute as well as the value. So you just have to set it as usual. And I also included the condition trump. So later I will discuss more about this. But for now, you will see that I included names. So this names will be included in the promo that I had made in a conversation block. So first I will show you the promo that I made. 
Right, so first, here you will see that uh, since it's Ruby Closets for the anniversary, uh, we are going to have a four fun promo, meaning uh, selected names with four letters will have a pre letter bag, okay? So that's those were the names that are included in the attribute uh, block, okay? So save. And I just added the one with the price. So this is going to be their block. And the one that's not qualified is going to be the block. So let's try it in Messenger first. We have to set this to the starting block. Right? And test. And so I'm currently receiving the promo. I'm in the promo message. So let's see. My name is Train, and it's, this is also included in the promo, uh, the attribute block. So let's see if I will receive my gift. Okay, so yeah, I'm included in the promo. So that's how the attribute works. So next condition. So. Right, so I will set this over here. Right now, here in conditional jump, you can set how the bot will decide which branch to take. So edit the name first as usual, and add a branch, and add a condition first to see the other option. Okay, so here you have two options. If you set end, then it will activate and perform two actions that you had set, but if you choose or, it will perform either of the two functions that you will set, okay? So something like that. Now, next is the field. So in the field, you can enter the attribute and then something like this, and you can select the attributes that you already made, right? For example, I will use this time age, right? And next here, you will see that you will have different options again. So the is is not contains, not contains, you will use this for text values, okay? And the next ones, this one's greater than, less than, equals, you will use this for number values. So since we're going to use age, we're going to select equals, okay? So something like this. And for example, I will enter 18. So I will edit the rest first and discuss. Now, the logic here is, for example, in my shop, I want to target young adults. So what I mean by young adult, for example, is 18 to 25 years old. So I will set it that way. So first is equals to 18, meaning everyone who is exactly 18 years old. And then greater than 18, meaning everyone who is 18 and above. And or, you will see that I edited or less than 25 so this means that this branch will apply to everyone 18 to 25 years old okay so let's try and save this first to see how this will work okay so now you will notice that it has two branches right here so the first one is the one that you had edited and the second one is for the negative one, so for those who doesn't uh, qualify between 18 to 25 years old, okay? So I will add more blocks so we can have a complete conversation to use with this block. Okay, so I will edit this first. Okay, so I just added uh, more conversations so we can test how the condition would work. So first is set the starting block. Right, and that's a messenger. Right, now we're going to receive the message which is asking for my age. So for example, I am 22 years old. Right, so it says I am qualified for the promo. Okay, so it works that way because I am 22 years old. Now, the next thing that we are going to try is a smart delay. Right, so here remember that uh, in the conversation block, you have the option to delay the message. But here, using this block, you can delay the message 
much longer. So here you will see, for example, I'll just edit this first, delete. And here you can edit the duration. So for example, you have the option to do it for minutes, hours, or even days, and just input the number in here. So for example, I want to delay the message for 30 minutes, right? So to use this, you just have to add a conversation block before and after this delay block, all right? So for example, I'll just edit this first. Okay, so here I just added a uh, new conversations. So, oopsie, I will just connect the messages, right? So something like this. So with this one, you can use this, for example, uh, a customer doesn't respond to their order for a while. So for this, for example, this message is about uh, their order and then suddenly they didn't reply anymore. Then you can use this block so that after 30 minutes, you will notify them again that they should continue with checking out their order, okay? Something like that. And next, we're going to try the randomizer. All right, so this one, you can use this if you want your customer to receive different type of messages or branches. So first, I will edit this to show how this works. Okay, so here you will see that I added five branches. So all branches must be equivalent to a total of 100%. So since there are five branches, it will be divided into 20% each. So meaning... For example, out of 100 customers, 20 of them will receive each branch, okay? So it will be divided like that. So next, you will see that I added the messages here. So this promos right here, they have, uh, this box contains different promos. So they will receive a discount with $30 being the highest and $2 being the lowest. So now let's try how this will work. And just click on Test on Messenger. All right, so let's see and try. All right, so I received a $30 discount. So let's try again. Okay. Okay, so you will see that this time I only receive a $2 discount compared to the first one, which is $30. So your customer will receive it that way. Okay, so it's randomized. Okay, now let's proceed to the other blocks. So the next thing is to send email. So this one, uh, we also tried this already in the settings video. So you could check that out. Remember that in order to use this, you have to set your email first in the settings. So you just have to proceed to integrations, okay? And okay, so here you can see that you can uh, edit the email just like in a normal email setting. So of course, the first thing to do is training the block. So for example, email and then title. You can input the title here and then use your email. So here, you have to know that even if you send this to many recipients, they wouldn't know that, okay? So it's okay to send this to many, all right? Now, here in the content, you can input your message and edit it using these tools. You could add pictures if you want or the alignment. And also, in this part, you can also use the attributes that we are using. So for example, Right, so something like this, you can edit this again to personalize all the messages that you will be receiving, okay? And so lastly, Google Sheets. So for this one, we are already used this a lot of times, so I will not discuss it much any further, but of course you can 
either create a new sheet or update an existing one, right? You can connect it to any kind of conversation. And of course, the first step is to connect it to Google Sheets first, all right? So just something like that. All right, so that's it. You already know how to use all types of blocks. So you can include this to any flow that you want in order to maximize all the flows, all right? So if you have any more questions, just check out the other videos and see ya.